Today I'm going to be talking about Backrooms level 921, aka only one shopping cart. This level terrifies me for some reason, and since I like to only get terrified when I'm with other people, I decided to make an entire video on this level and share it with you all. You're welcome. Sit back and relax, and let's explore this level together, shall we? So level 921 is the 922nd level of the back rooms, and it's classified as a class 5E difficulty. When you first enter this level, you'll get overwhelmed with a huge wave of emotion. This emotion gives you, or any person that comes here, a feeling of uneasiness and loneliness and sadness, and just an overall disorientation of yourself. On top of these feelings, you'll be hit with a really cold breeze, which will make you feel frigid, and that just makes everything worse. When you get over the assault of emotions hitting you, you'll realize what the level actually looks like. Around you, you'll see it take an appearance of a huge open structure that sprawls out for as far as you can see. The building, or buildings, that you're inside of look like an old warehouse, or a huge empty store, or an old mall, something along those lines. The buildings here stink of rot and rust and decay, and almost everything is decaying and old and abandoned. On top of all that, you feel very lonely. You're the only thing here that's alive, and you just feel empty. As you start to explore the rest of the level, you'll see how decayed everything really is. The buildings themselves, and how expansive the rest of the level really is. The buildings here can actually be stores from real life, like old Toys R Us's or Walmarts or anything like that, and the level can actually change its layout to look like stores from a specific wanderer's memory. It can be any store that you remember from childhood or you have good memories from or anything like that, but when this happens, the person that's in the level will feel more at ease and more calm than before. Deeper into the level's different stores and supermarkets and malls, you might run across an empty or abandoned mall or two. These malls are very liminal and lonely, and just like the rest of the level, they seem to be abandoned and old. But in a new discovery, a wanderer recently claimed that level 921 took the appearance of an exact mall from real life from the state of Illinois called the Hawthorne Mall. So this is by far the most accurate recreation that the level has done so far, and it seems to be a one-to-one -one copy of the real-life version. Which is scary, because how could something from a different dimension copy a mall's exact look from real life, even though it's not in real life? We have no idea. The one common trend throughout the level's different stores and malls and warehouses is the presence of random shopping carts. So these shopping carts are really the only other sign of other people or wanderers that have been here. I mean, since there's literally nothing else here, no people or entities or even wanderers, these shopping carts are the only thing we have to lend to the idea that there might have been something else here. The carts give off a really weird vibe to people that go near them or approach them. And overall, they give back those feelings of uneasiness and like something's watching you. But as of this video, we have no idea if they're actually dangerous or if they just trick you into thinking they are, or if they're just so unnerving looking that it just makes you feel weird. We don't know. But they are located all over the level, inside the malls, and outside the malls. And also, so far, no one's really touched them, because we don't know what would happen if you did that, but I recommend not doing it. So, so far, I've gone over the insides of the level, which is just made up of empty stores, markets, and malls, but there's actually another area beyond this relative safety of the inside stores. It's way more dangerous, and it should never, under any circumstance, be explored. The area I'm referring to is the outside, or the exterior, as it's commonly called, and it's considered to be, by far, the worst part of the level. Because, if you remember back at the beginning of the video, the level has a classification of Class 5E. But the mall inside and the stores inside, the supermarkets, none of that stuff's really dangerous. It's kind of just empty and lonely and kind of familiar, but no real danger. The danger is outside in the form of the environment. It's because the weather in this outside exterior area is constantly thunderstorming and raining and striking lightning and there's huge wind gusts on top of all of it. The actual area that's outside takes the appearance of an overgrown and abandoned parking lot lit up by old street lamps. 
The lot is very foggy and rainy, and you can't really see past it. But when the rain is at its lightest, you might be able to make out a cityscape that's barely visible off in the distance. The city itself looks old, and it looks really destroyed and empty, but it's unknown if there was once life here or not. We got no idea. Anyways, the parking lots themselves also have shopping carts. Just like the inside of the level did, the outside does as well. Even though there's rain and thunderstorms and wind, there are still shopping carts out here in the parking lot. Again, no one knows why, they're just there. Which to me is extremely eerie. Who put them there? Why are they there? Why don't they blow away? We don't know. No one has ever been to that cityscape that's off in the distance past the parking lot, past the fog and storms, and most people actually haven't even been outside of the level to the parking lot in general. Most people stay inside the mall or supermarket area. Because of this, we really don't know what else this level has to offer if anything. Although it's theorized that the level is on some kind of island that's floating in a void because you can't really see past the parking lot, past the city. It's just blackness everywhere. Who knows? Anyways, back inside to the main building, there are no flesh and blood entities here at all. No wretches, no insanities, no smilers, no skin stealers, nothing like that. Everything here is completely devoid of life, except you. You also can't even run into other wanderers here, because it seems that only one person can be here at a time. Unless you consider the shopping carts an entity, there's nothing else here. But there is one entity creature thing that really isn't understood that's thought to be here, and it's known as the Companion. This entity is a very intelligent entity that exists beyond the physical realm. We can't really see it, but we can hear it. It doesn't have a body or anything like that, but it can still talk and make conversation with wanderers who are exploring the level. It talks in the third person, and it has a really deep and metallic and staticky voice, and it seems to know a lot about the level, but not to the point where we think it controls it, it just has a vast knowledge of the level. The entity hasn't been outright hostile to people, it hasn't attacked them or anything, but it's still pretty scary that there's a disembodied voice talking to you through thin air, and you can't see anything. As of right now, we have no idea what this thing looks like, so any images you're seeing are just what we think it might. There are no outposts here because of the level's changing and morphing nature, and to enter the level, you can walk towards a shopping mall on level 113 to be sent here, and to exit, you can find a room deep inside of the malls here that has a number on it. Open the numbered door, and you could be sent to level 126, 336, or 513. Just depends. So to quickly summarize, level 921. It is a very empty, liminal, lonely level comprised of malls and markets and stores shoved together to form a very confusing labyrinth. The level is very quiet, except for the thunderstorm that's outside. It gives an ambient feeling, and it also gives people a feeling like they're being watched because you're so alone and so abandoned while you're exploring these huge abandoned structures that you just feel like something's watching you. Through all the stores and even the outside, there are these strange anomalous shopping carts that have been abandoned in random spots. We have no idea why they're here or what their purpose is, but what we do know is that they give off really strange feelings of loneliness and danger. You kind of feel like they're not supposed to be there. Outside of these malls and buildings, there are abandoned parking lots that are covered in rain and fog and thunderstorms. And just faintly off in the distance, you can see an outline of a city. Although we have no idea if it's real or a mirage. Nice. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. This channel is on the road to 1 million subscribers as always. We're so close. Cannot wait to hit it with you all. Thank you for your continued support as always. Uh, go check out Toogly and Spoogly if you want more of me. Comment the keyword Brugly one milli if you're still watching. That way I know you're a real one. I try to heart all the ones I see with that comment. Thank you so much for everything. I love and appreciate all of you. And I will see you in the next video on any of my channels. Peace.